So glad you could come and join us today. My name is Shannon Cox. I'm an instructor at Douglas College, and this is my teaching partner, Michael Cornford. Thank you very much, Shannon. What does community mean to you? By definition, it's the shared attributes of people living and interacting in a common area. It's the strength of the connections amongst them. But more importantly, community is when everyone pitches in and helps achieve one common or collective goal that could not have been accomplished otherwise. Today, we're gonna to see a few excellent examples of community. Each student-led marketing project found a nimble approach to continuing to deliver these high quality marketing strategies while at the same time working online and transitioning to be able to support these communities and the healthcare workers to help fight for all of us and save lives. Thank you to the team of students focused tirelessly on the coordination of all projects and the public relations. You deliver this impressive showcase in three weeks from an in-person showcase to keep everyone safe. The Envision Financial Douglas College Community Partnership Program has been running for nine years. We've had some tremendous support and a lot of terrific ideas over that time. It's spring 2020. This is COVID-19 times. All of us have been asked to stay at home, to social distance. And with that challenge, we've seen some innovative ideas from our students. Our community partners, Port Moody Arts Center, Pomo Arts, Abbotsford Community Foundation, Crossroads Hospice Society Thrift Store, and the DC Alumni Foundation. Our partners have all come on with challenges to find better ways to connect with their community, understand who their customers are, and find uh, cost-effective and meaningful ways to engage with their community. Let's hear a little bit more about the program from our Vice President Academic Provost, Thor Borgford. Thor, over to you. Good evening and welcome. I'm Thor Borgford, Vice President Academic and Provost here at Douglas College. I want to welcome you all to the first uh, virtual celebration of uh, the partnership between the marketing department here at Douglas and Envision Financial. And uh, as you can see, I am indeed here at Douglas College and I pretty much have the whole place to myself this evening. Um, hopefully you're all somewhere a little bit more comfortable than this. <laughs> I'm going to stop right now and we're going to go inside. Tonight we're going to learn about the work that our marketing students have been doing in conjunction with some not-for-profit community organizations. However, I must begin by telling you how very grateful we are to Envision Financial for its generous support of this program, not just this year, but over many years. This support has allowed our students to take what they've learned in the classroom and apply it to some real-world situations. I would also like to acknowledge the support of the Douglas College Foundation and the Faculty of Commerce and Business Administration. Now, each of our partner organizations that you're going to hear from about tonight, I should say, um, has given a team of students a set of real, and by that I mean not theoretical, uh, problems to tackle, requiring students to use their marketing and communication skills to the fullest. We're going to hear directly from those teams of students in a few minutes. Uh, they're going to tell us what they did. They're going to tell us what they learned from their projects and how their work informed improvements within the organizations that they assisted. Each team began by conducting a research project. For example, they may have evaluated the name recognition of an organization or analyzed how people are interacting with the organization's website. Then teams made recommendations for improvements. In some cases, they may have even implemented uh, improvements or created materials that the organization, the partner organization, could use for promotional purposes. From my perspective, one of the key benefits of this work is it gives students immediate and direct feedback on their skills. They learn that they possess valuable expertise. They learn that they can help others. They get a first-hand education in corporate social responsibility. They build confidence. Our partner organizations, of course, make connections with Douglas College that can pave the way for future collaborations, pave the way for volunteer work experience for students, uh, practicum placements, co-ops, and maybe even one day employment opportunities for our graduates. I hope you all enjoy the presentations tonight. 
and thank you for sharing the celebration with us. And uh, I'm going to now put down the selfie stick. Thank you very much, Thor. All right, the way it's going to work this evening, ladies and gentlemen, is we are going to hear from each of our uh, student teams. They're going to present the challenges and the ideas uh, that they worked on and uh, share some of those deliverables with you. I'm going to hand it over to our uh, PR team here to do uh, some of the details and some of the introductions. We're going to start with Daisy. And uh, just to let you know, there will be a Q&A uh, ongoing in the chat box, but uh, at, the, uh, at the end of the presentations, which will be about 40 minutes from now, there's an opportunity to come and have a virtual meeting with the actual student teams and, uh, and have a real, uh, be part of the debrief with the clients and hear a little bit more of the background in the details after the presentations. Starting with the first nonprofit organization, let's welcome Abbotsford Community Foundation. It is based in the city of Abbotsford with the goal to provide supporting services to the community, especially for students. The presenting group will be focusing on helping the organization to identify the most suitable software for data management, as well as to help increasing its awareness. Let's welcome the first group. Hello everyone, my name is Elena and as a team A, we're going to present marketing plan for Abbotsford Community Foundation. And here you can see the main points of our agenda. And I would like to start with the first point about organizational marketing challenge. And according to this point, the main question of our research is how to increase brand awareness and customer satisfaction. And um, for the first step, we defined uh, the parents as a key audience, and we divided them into three uh, segmentation group. And uh, uh, based on few findings, we found out that parents have a significant impact on their children education and their decision making. And another potential findings relate to the implementation of particular software for improving customer experience. So now my partner, Victor, will give you more information about that. Thank you. Thank you, Alina. Now I'm going to talk about the software. And first step was uh, creating a process map to show to the companies what we needed. Uh, we also needed to create a future table with aspects that are important to evaluate a software uh, solution. And we, we made a good research to get in these uh, aspects. And then we went to the markets to talk with all the companies in order to find the best solutions. We end up with those six options. Uh, we had some uh, Wendy's previous contact. We have uh, Stephen, the Douglas College IT expert uh, suggestions, and we found a lot of things on rankings in internet. And well, giving a look on the functionalities, the first important aspect we realized that two of them, SurveyMonkey and, and Salesforce, they didn't have what we need. Uh, on the second aspect price, two of them were really expensive and we didn't move forward with those ones. And Foundant and Award Force, they got functionality, price, product maturity, support during the implementation and after, and a good possibility to customization. So for sure, those are our suggestions. And now Isniha will talk about the other strategy and tactics. Thank you, Richard. Uh, so the next strategy uh, is uh, content marketing. The objective of this strategy is to improve the search engine optimization and driving more uh, traffic towards the website of ACF. And the tactic we use for this is the blog. Execution will be done in a way like it can be done by people from inside the organization or by the help of the volunteers. Authentic and attractive content will be posted and committing to a regular schedule is very important and this can be bi-weekly. Uh, software called as WordPress can be used for this purpose. These are some of the blog suggestions we have like for the week first, second and onwards. Next is YouTube marketing. YouTube being the second largest search engine plays a very important role in creating awareness about anything in the world. So the objective was to increase the brand presence, increasing the number of accurate applications. 
and um, the execution would be creating new creative videos asking alumni to help and like to share their experience monitoring the watch time and demographics and adding hashtags to the videos asking viewers to um, subscribe share and like in the end of the videos and organizing the videos into playlist now Wilfer is going to talk about some more tactics and strategies thank you thank you Sneha. our author advertising strategy targets parents and aims to draw their attention to scholarship program we suggest flyers as a tactic the steps for execution are creating the content printing out and handing out the flyers here is the example flyer that we created for acf and our last but not least strategy is digital marketing. Here we aim to increase the alumni engagement and collect their emails to create a contact list. We plan the We Missed You campaign. We suggest creating a website banner and linking it to join our email list page. And then sharing it as a post on Instagram and directing alumni to join our email list page by putting a link under the post. Facebook button. ACF already has a learn more button, which followers click on it and give their contact details to learn more about specific events. Here we can add are you an alumni question to sort out which followers are alumni. Creating a LinkedIn group for alumni to learn more about them, engage with them to ask for their help. This can be used as a communication tool. And lastly, uh, after getting their contact details, we suggest creating a proud ACF scholarship winner campaign. We created a stamp as an example. Uh, this can be sent to alumni and they can share it on their social media to increase awareness. This is the end of our presentation. Thanks for listening.